Last week, I attended the Democratic National Convention here in Charlotte as a North Carolina delegate. At the convention, nobody was talking about one of the most important issues, which is labeling genetically modified ingredients. In 2007, President Obama said he would label these genetically modified ingredients that haven't been studied on human beings, but hasn't done that yet. As an elected delegate, I have the obligation to hold the leaders I help put in office accountable. I made it my mission to talk to as many delegates, media, politicians, and even celebrities about this issue to get their thoughts and their opinions and their explanation of why genetically modified ingredients have not been labeled in this country. When I spoke to the chairwoman of the Democratic Party, Debbie Washerman Schultz, a woman who has had seven breast cancer surgeries. She didn't know anything about this issue. I spoke with MSNBC pundit Chris Matthews and he refused to answer my question. He said, is this something we've ever brought up on my show? When I met Will I Am, he was being questioned by several different TV outlets and news stations. And when I asked him, should we label genetically modified foods? He turned to all the cameras and gave me a high five and said, now that's the type of question you guys need to be asking me. Over 50 countries either regulate or label genetically modified ingredients. All I want for Americans is to have the same food rights as people in Russia and China. Like President Obama has said, we are the change. And in California, they have this issue on their ballot as Proposition 37 to label genetically modified ingredients. And the state of California will be voting on this issue on November 6th. This is our chance to effectively change America's food policy starting in California. If you're from California, please vote yes on Proposition 37. And even if you don't live in California, your support is more important than ever. The federal government has refused to label genetically modified foods, which means that we have to get labeling passed on the state level. Unfortunately, big corporations that sell us these genetically modified foods are doing whatever they can to stop this bill from passing and are outspending us 10 to 1. There are many petitions already started in many states online and you can get involved by donating your time and money to help spread the word about GMOs so we can all finally know what's in our food.